What's up guys, CypherPole808 back again for some more One Piece action and today we have my live reaction to chapter 1035 but before we jump into that go ahead and do me a favor hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified of any of my future videos but now that you have let's jump right into the chapter. Alright so starting off Zoro vs King alright alright Zoro vs King you know we had uh, Queen Versanji last chapter we already saw kind of the beginnings of Zoro versus King you know um, with the Shimotsuki Kozaburo being from his um, hometown, you know, uh, with Queena and them. That was Queena's grandfather. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely excited to see, like, Zoro fully wield Enma like Odin did. Like, you know, just like it's nothing. So, let's see what we got. Alright, okay, so it's a Zoro versus King chapter, but we have Jeremiah Double Six. So, some Sanji stuff right here. And it says, uh, limited co oh, we got a limited cover series. Alright, so we're going to find out what happened to Jeremiah kind of after the whole Whole Cake Island raid and everything like that. So it says, Escape Whole Cake Island. And we just see, you know, all of um, the big uh, slugs kind of trudging along. We see the, it looks like, almost like the fire tank, you know, castle, but it's not. It's the German castle, so I like that. But let's jump right in. All right, so even though it's uh, Zoro versus King, the first thing we see is, you know, Sanji's uh, German Double Six family. And then the first panel is Sanji. But we see Sanji, you know, he's just lighting Queen up right now and it says a heavy blow. All right, what do we got? Okay, and we just see Queen. He just looks like he just took one right to the chin and he's just going flying, just sailing over the horizon. All right, so, you know, Sanji had a lot to prove to Queen, not only for, you know, trying to equate him to his family, but you guys remember, like, Queen kind of did him dirty, made him, you know, doubt himself. Like, did he hit that woman? And then, you know, last chapter we found out, like, of course not. Like, that's our boy Sanji. That's literally a part of his being you know not being able to lay a finger on a woman even if his life is on the line like this man has never done it will never do it like all you Sanji fans out there he's straight true to himself so you know he's got a lot of rage to be sending Queen right now we just see Queen just soaring off the island right now off Onigashima all right and then Sanji still got this you know angered look on his face and then okay it's the girl I think this is the girl that um everyone thought that Sanji was the one that hit and she's like freaking out and she's looking for her little um her little mouse right there. And then we see Sanji's the one that picks up Chuji. He's just like, oh, here you go. So, you know, she's probably a little terrified because maybe she thought that Sanji was the one that hit it. So what do you guys think? All right, Chuji, thank goodness. It was a bit dangerous back there. Didn't want him to get hurt. Then and she's like, thank you so much. And then, okay, so Sanji's kind of remembering back to um that little mouse when he was a kid in his flashback, you know, when he was like learning to cook and stuff. Uh... That dropout, he's making food for that dirty mouse again. All right, yeah, you know, his brothers were giving him a lot of crap for it. Mish, are you sure you're unharmed? And then she's looking at something. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? It says, Skull, Skull Dome, Left Brain Tower, Battle of the Pleasure District. Winner, Sanji. All right, so Sanji has officially been declared a winner. He has taken out a Yonko's, uh, you know, top officer right there. So, and he did it in very convincing fashion. So, uh, you know, all you Sanji fans out there, you guys must be, you know, Getting a little cheer going on, but I think Zoro's gonna, is he gonna top Sanji? You know, Sanji's already coming in with the higher bounty, so Zoro's gonna have to step it up a little bit. I don't know what you guys think. All right, okay, so we're going back outside, it looks like. All right, let's see. All right, we got, we're on the outside, and then we see Zoro, he's kind of just going in. He's got all three swords out, and he just slices up King, but if you guys remember, you know, the last time he was, like, trying to slice up King, he would slice him, and then King would just, like, explode and just unleash all this damage, and then would be perfectly fine. And Zoro, he's over there panting, you know, he's got Enma trying to, you know, suck all the uh, hockey out of him. And he's kind of just going with it, just releasing his Conqueror's hockey. And then we just see, oh, he, bro, he just sliced King's face. Like, you know, King was pissed before when just a little bit of his face was kind of hanging out in the mask. And then this one just ripped the whole chunk of his face is just exposed right now. Oh, he's going to be so pissed. And it says, just as I thought, when the flame on his back is out, he's faster. All right, so Zoro, in the midst of this battle, you know, he's starting to pick up a little bit on his uh, foe's cues. He's picking up on some of King's habits, you know. Obviously, when his flames die down, now Zoro's picking up. Like, okay, that means he's going to be moving a little bit faster. So he's still... Bro, King just ripped the mask off, and oh my god, he, he does not look happy. Like, he's just pissed right now. And he's just got this blonde hair. All right, but his defenses get weaker. So he, you know, 
King is going to look pissed. I'm kind of curious to see what his face looks like, you know, uh, when he goes into his Pteranodon form. And then Zoro's kind of looking back at him. And then everyone's like, no way, King Sama's mask. So everyone that, you know, is from the Beast Pirates, they're like, oh my God, his mask is off. Like, we get to see his face. And he said, so the rumors were true. Black wings, white hair, and dark brown skin. Oh, okay, so everyone kind of is recognizing, like, wait, he's that fabled Lunarian. Like, oh, do you guys think King is just going to unleash some crazy technique on Zoro? Some crazy sword technique or some flame technique or, you know, some combination of both. Uh, the world government is offering 100 million berries for any information on... Oh, I feel like he's going to stop anyone who wants to complete that sentence. Like, yeah, I dare any of you try and turn me in, try to collect that bounty. And yeah, he just whips out his sword and it's just covered in flames. And he's just, no, wait, we didn't mean it. And everyone, they're like, whoa, 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 we didn't mean to. Imperial dragon. He just sends his massive imperial dragon attack. And oh my God, he just consumes everyone in this huge flame. Okay, so King clearly, he's not playing around. He's like, yo, you just messed up my mask. Is game on. All right, so on top of, you know, all the fire we already got going around, the damn fire monster that's going down to the basement, now we got King, who looks like he's about to be unleashing some crazy fire of his own because he is pissed. Uh, the castle was already burning up enough as it was. That's no way to treat your men. You'd be better off. All right, so, uh, you know, King taking out his own men in um, retribution for kind of laughing at, or not laughing, but... um but for pointing out that he's a Lunarian and pointing out that, you know, there's a, I guess, some type of bounty for information on him. And then what do we got here? And it says, uh, focusing on me, then throwing a tantrum. So, all right, so Zoro's kind of, he's messing with him. He's playing little mind games with him. He's poking and prodding at him. So the government uh, is that interested in your kind, huh? Want to tell me about your race? All right, so I don't know, looking like some, um, like the Shandorians. You guys remember the Shandorians from Skypea um, and Jaya? They had that, like, uh, I can't remember if that's the design or if it's, like, a different design. I'm curious enough if that, like, is, has any significance. All right, and now he's switching into his, I don't know if this is hybrid. No, it looks like he's going full Pteranodon right here. Why should I bother? You'll be dead soon. All right, so King is fairly certain now that his uh, anger level is going to guarantee his victory right here, and he just... He has no clue who he's messing with in Zoro. And we just see this huge impact from where uh, King looks like he's slamming into Zoro. But Zoro's got his swords out. He's defending them. He's got all three of them out right now. All right. And it looks like he's not having too many issues with uh, Enma right now. Or at least he's not complaining about having any issues with Enma. All right. So what do you guys think? Do you think he's going to be able to fully unleash Enma before the end of this chapter? Or is he going to be able, you know... To do something else, bust out um, some technique we haven't seen before, uh, cut fire maybe, kind of like how Kinemon did, because you know we wanted to see Zoro cut fire, cut steel, cut diamond, you know, cut everything. We want to see Zoro cut everything, right? All right, and he says, I, I don't have much time. If we keep dragging things out, this sword will kill me. All right, so okay, so there we go. Enma is still obviously sucking a lot of hockey out of him, and Zoro's like, okay, I need to finish this fight like right now. Or in the next few uh, minutes because I can't do a drawn out fight. I don't have the hockey reserves in order to fight a drawn out battle. I feel close to my limit too. So all right. So even King's acknowledging a little bit. You know they've uh, they've had a pretty tough battle. They've been going at it. His race being special doesn't change anything for me. All right. It doesn't matter who Zoro's opponent is. Like he's got to kick their ass if he wants to become the number one swordsman. We're in the same boat then. Uh, but you've had your time on top. Now you've got to make room for us. All right, so Zoro is kind of announcing his uh, claim towards a run for uh, the greatest swordsman in the world. You know, Luffy going for Pirate King. He's like, you guys had your time as the Yonko, as the, you know, the creme de la creme of the pirating world. Now it's our time. It's the youngsters. It's time to move over. All right. King of Hell, three sword style. Let's go. Zoro's about to unleash some massive ass attack. I can just feel it. Don't get ahead of yourself. Kaido-san is going to be the next pirate king. All right, so this man is clearly delusional. You know, grabbing his head and smashing it into things has obviously affected his judgment because he's still thinking that Kaido is going to be the king of the pirates, and we all know Luffy's going to be king of the pirates. All right, what do we have here? Okay, we're getting a flashback, so maybe this is how uh, King joined the crew. You're a Lunarian. The government will never let you go. Uh, I saw their experiments to test your endurance. I'm leaving this place to form my own pirate coup. 
So how about it? Are you uh, are you in guinea pig? All right. So uh, I guess this is when the world government had captured Kaido and uh, I guess when Vegapunk probably extracted his DNA in order to try and recreate the devil fruits. So during this um, time, I guess he came across King who was being experimented on by the world government uh, for whatever reason, whatever they're trying to extract from him. And he's like, yo, I'm forming a pirate crew. You want to come or you want to stay here and be a guinea pig? And then King is looking at him. He's like, oh, and it's a young King too. He's like, do you really think you'll be able to change the world? And he just has this crazy look on his face. He's like, I'm the only one who can. All right. Got to give it up to Kaido. He's got this craziness about him. The test subjects have escaped. You're now. All right. We're getting King's real name. Arbor. You have the power worthy of a stronger name. Call yourself King. All right. So Kaido is the one who renamed him King. Uh, stand by me and I'll never sell you out. So, okay, now we see why, you know, clearly King, like all the first mates and their captains, they have some bonding experience that, you know, ties them with Big Mom. It was, um, you know, Katakuri being her son. Uh, we haven't really gotten the explanation behind Ben Beckman and everything, but, you know, when we had Gold Roger, it was um, Silver's Rayleigh, like they were best friends, and he uh, invited him out to see from today onwards, you're my right hand man. And he just, you know, oh, 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 his laugh. <laughs> And then we see Zoro just going in with his purgatory onigiri. All right, so the battle of the swordsman is going down. And we just see Zoro, and he just got this intense look on his face. And it says, his flame is burning. That attack didn't do any damage. All right, so, you know, again, Zoro's already landed several solid attacks on King, but King hasn't really taken damage. It seems King's huffing and puffing is more from the, um, the force that he's trying to exert himself you know trying to defeat Zoro more than the damage he's taken from Zoro so if Zoro wants to do any type of damage he's gonna have to really bring it all right what do we got here and it says uh imperial flaming dragon this fire is like magma oh is this a little hinting at a little showdown between Zoro and um Akainu later on down the road all right and then okay mid-air we just see this massive clash between King you know he's coming down and we just see Zoro, he's just taking the impact right there. And King's just got this grimace on his face as he's like trying to smash down and break through all of Zoro's swords. But we see Zoro just kind of holding on to it. And then all of a sudden, something happens with King's sword. So it kind of separates. And now it's got like more of like sawtooth. And he's like, that sword again. All right, what do we got here? You're not taking away these named swords of mine. All right, so Zoro's like, no, you're not defeating me and taking my swords. Like... I'm about to win this battle. All right, and he lands on his feet, kind of kind of gets out of the fight, and he's, you know, recovering for a second. So I have a feeling he's going to be gearing up for this attack. All right, what do you guys think? What attack are you guys calling this coming next? Is this something we've seen before? Or is this going to be an entirely, entirely new attack? All right, all right, what do we got? Okay, so Zoro's kind of looking down. He's like, he sped up. That means, all right, it's, so, ooh. Bro, King just landing this massive kick right to Zoro's face. I mean, he's just eating this foot. But it looks like is Zoro. I think I think my man is taking this kick in order to create an opening to slice him. And he says, "I can cut him." Bird dance. Oh, and he just lands this massive slice right up King, like just right down the center. And this time, it looks like he did something. All right, and we just see King. It looks like he's kind of starting to fall back right there. This huge explosion. And it says, you've caught on to how my powers work. That's right. Ready to admit that you're beaten. All right. So he's like, Zoro's like, yo, yep, I figured you out. So do you want to just, you know, concede this fight right now? Because there's no way you're beating me now that I figured this out. All right. You know, that's going to piss King off just royally right now. And okay, so we see them. They're just going at it. And we get this nice shot. We see King kind of just standing over there and Zoro's just mid just taking all these shots from him and it says looks like you're uh blocking now what happened to them having uh no effect on you? all right so Zoro's starting to know he's like hey wait I thought these uh, attacks didn't do anything to you now you're starting to block a little bit kind of like what uh Luffy did to Kaido kind of at the beginning of the Onigashima raid he's like oh you're starting to block now you must be starting to feel some of what I'm doing you seem scared now and you just see blood coming out of King's mouth and he just gives him that look like oh sh and he's like, your kind is too inferior for you to have a, a prayer against me. And we just see King, it looks like he's flying off. So it looks like he's pulling back to go for a big attack again. 
that's the kind of thinking I hate most. All right, so what is Zoro about to do? He's like, everything that King just said just pissed him off and put him to another level. All right, and we see King. He goes into his Pteranodon form. He says, I'll remember you as a decent sort. Oh, you just... Okay, hold the phone. He just told Zoro, I'll remember you as a decent swordsman. Like, bro, stop. You do not tell Zoro that he is a decent swordsman. Like, oh my God, bro, you have just unleashed. The demon is about to come out. He says, all right, what do we got? If you survive me, uh, I'll scar you so bad that you'll never forget this fight. And we just see this huge flame dragon coming from King. Imperial Garden, uh, Guardian Fire Dragon. All right. So is Zoro about to cut this fire and just annihilate King? And he's just got the look on his face. And you just see his right eye. He's got blood coming down the side of his face. All right. What do we got here? King of Hell. Three dragon style. 103 senses. And he just splits this dragon. Just... Shoo, 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 shoo. just completely annihilates this dragon and king's face he looks like he just shit himself he cannot believe what just happened oh my god soaring jingoku dragon oh and he just the attack just nails king just square in the chest yes zoro my man just slicing through this flame dragon no problem and just annihilating king it looks like and it says, even dragons can be slain, uh, slayed with a single swing. All right. So, again, this is bringing up a lot of um, uh, flashbacks to Ryuma, you know, and monsters being the one to slay a dragon. We've seen uh, Zoro slay the dragon at Punk Hazard, even though that wasn't a real dragon. Now we got this dragon over here. Like, Zoro just be slaying all kinds of dragons. He'd be looking like Ryuma. He is just, you know the sword god incarnate already like he's just a beast right here but you know ultimately the main thing that king screwed up in this fight is when he told zoro that he's like bro you a decent swordsman like dude you cannot tell someone that is aiming to be the best swordsman in the world that he's a decent swordsman at best like nope bro he's about to whoop your ass just to prove a point now and yep I think Zoro has done it. All you Zoro fanboys, like, you know you just enjoying this moment. And we'll see kind of who comes out on top after this. Is it going to be Zoro or Sanji? Uh, you know, kind of in the bounty rush. Are you even going to have time to get a bounty update? Or are we going to jump straight into, you know, taking on the Navy that's uh, kind of heading in there right now? And on top of all this, you know, we've had all this hype between uh, Zoro and Sanji and King and Queen, you know, them fighting their, uh, you know, respective people. But we still got Luffy up top dealing with Kaido. We still got Momo dealing with all of Onigashima falling towards the flower capital. And we got, um, what's her name? Uh, Odin incarnate running down to the basement trying to um, disarm all of the arms so they don't explode in case this uh, this fire demon or this fire uh drawing that Kondro created uh you know goes down there and tries to explode Onigashima because that will do even if it doesn't impact if that thing you know ignites all of that now instead of having one big ass uh rock flying at the flower capital now you're gonna have hundreds or thousands of really big chunks of rock flying and there's just gonna be no way that Momo and his newly uh, aged Dragon State will be able to stop all of those individual pieces. Like, he's already struggling to deal with this one big piece. He's not going to be able to generate, you know, flame clouds, stop each individual piece if this thing explodes, you know, if it doesn't kill him to begin with. So, um, yeah, there's just a lot going on. I'm very excited to see kind of where we go because we've seen Queen fall. I think at the beginning of the next chapter, we're going to get that announcement that King is falling. So are we going to jump up top to, um, you know, King and see kind of what he's doing or who, who are not King, but uh, Luffy to see what he's doing against Kaido. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section, what you guys thought of the chapter. Where do you think we're going to next chapter? Um, yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Other than that, have a wonderful day and thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.